What's up guys, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity, and today we are reacting to first time trying Sepak Takra and Badminton, most popular sports in Malaysia, Kelantan Travel Vlog. This video was requested by a few people. Uh, we see back in July, Cheap Cheap suggested this video. Back in August, Linda suggested this video. And a few days ago, TTVVTT requested this video. So thank you so much for the suggestions, all three of you. Uh, sorry, Linda and Cheap Cheap that we're just now getting to you, but we got there. Yep, for sure. <laughs> so I enjoyed watching uh, the Sepak Takra videos that we've watched before, um, learning about the sport and everything. It's an insane sport. Uh, like super insane. Yeah, I no, feel like, like I would rip my my groin every among, time amongst other muscles and ligaments and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I I would definitely need to stretch more before starting this. Stretch. Yeah, that's the least of your worries. <laughs> Lose a little more weight. Too. <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> Guys, before we hop into this video, if you would, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It truly helps us get these videos out to more people. Also, if you would, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive YouTube short shout out, click the join button down below. So let's check this out. You know, I was kind of, I'm thinking like, what makes, like, why do some countries soccer becomes the most popular sport uh in this situation what did i do it's so blue what was that uh <laughs> badminton sepak to craw to craw sepak to craw sepak to craw what the most makes popular. a sepak to craw anyway you're stupid <laughs> you're so dumb <laughs> Yeah, Why is this Sepak tax so But wrong? like in the U.S., baseball and basketball and football. American and football. A lower extent uh, or lesser extent, uh, hockey and soccer sometimes, depending yeah. on who you talk to. Yeah. What he asked. Dude, that's not even like soft ground. No. Bro, that's so amazing. Lauren, could you imagine just skinning your knee on it? That's awesome. Come on. Check this out. Sepak Takro. Essentially, it's kick volleyball. Sepak I guess tacro. it only is really popular in Southeast Asia. And I think it's one of the most popular sports in Malaysia. These guys here make it look easy. And it's like acrobatics, high-flying gymnastics. So do you remember th these guys? Yeah. So they're the ones that did that, uh, that uh, tour at that resort slash museum thing mm -hmm. that we that they said it was like hundreds of dollars yeah, per night or something like that we were way we were, yeah we completely missed out yeah Astics, check this out this dude already looks like he's got a bandage over a skinned up knee yeah oh, i could imagine the injuries in this sport <laughs> that was gonna go out you gotta let it ride bro The talent. So these guys are nice enough to invite me to play. Feeling very lucky. No experience, obviously. I've never even seen the game before. <laughs> I'm excited to see this. This is gonna be so good. Let's go. We should play it when we go. Oh yeah, 100. percent We look so dumb. At least we won't be as fat. Notice he says as fat. We'll still be fat. Yeah, no, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> You got a point. <laughs> That's so it's just awesome. Like, They're it's so just, happy I, with them. Yeah, it's like a, it's like letting a child throw a ball to you. <laughs> but but they're more supportive because right, they're right, adults, right. you know. Because when you got kids, like as much as I love my kids and stuff, when I'm pl like when I'm throwing the football with a friend or something like that, and my kids are there and they're like, "Let me throw it. Let, let me, me throw it." I'm like, "Fine, fine." <laughs> But when you're teaching an adult something new that they kind of generally know how to understand what's going on. Right. And they can learn. and Like, this seems like a hard pickup. Like, he's going to be able to kick the Easy ball. Easy like concept. That. Just very, very Technical. hard. Uh, 
uh, execution. Yeah, like very hard. Awesome guy. <laughs> and then you gotta think about how small that ball is. And right. It's coming at you. Ooh. He's enjoying it yeah. with his head now. <laughs> uh, sure automatic hand. Oh, hey. hey! He's catching on a little bit. Oh! That is awesome. He is actually doing what, way better than I thought he would. Look at that. <laughs> He's earning the respect. Hey, it stayed in too. Uh, he probably kept it in. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm so impressed. What do you know? My team lost. Well, what's the score? <laughs> I don't know. We got smoked. Yvonne. I got like three points. Our team got like three points. Oh, was it hard? Uh, yeah, I got to learn the basics of how to kick above your head. I only have one yeah. technique, which is right foot up. <laughs> These guys are going left foot. Flipping over, landing on the ground. Oh, you, you. That's Concrete crazy. Is all broken up. The ball is made of wood. Everything about this sport is amazing. Oh, but uh, I'm not cut out for it. I think I should stick to badminton. <laughs> we tried badminton first time a few days ago. <laughs> Although I was not very good at it, at least I could play. <laughs> he looks like one a badminton hand, player. <laughs> right. No one he looks like a professional yeah. tennis player. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And his little <laughs> socks. Going to the court. <laughs> the one. Canada, Olympic badminton. Olympic badminton. <laughs> Dang, he drilled it. Oh. No, no. I was even thinking to myself, oh, this is going to be way easier. <laughs> that lady's like... I think we've seen her on a video before. I don't think so. You don't think so? You gotta run around. She's not giving him, like... Any slack though. <laughs> okay, introducing two 50 plus badminton players who have not played in a couple years, but played twice a week before that. And this is the first, first time. time ever. Already covered in sweat. Let's see what we can do. Come on. So he hasn't played in a couple years, he said? No, they haven't. Oh. But they used to play a lot. Dude, I feel like my hand-eye coordination is shot. Yeah. And I could not do this. It was in. Oh. <laughs> in. <laughs> <laughs> What's crazy is, like, the badminton uh, bads... They're so light. The the, uh, the, the, the rackets, racket. yeah. yeah. They're so light that, or at least the ones that I've used are yeah. super light. So it's like you you can't really, unless you're used to playing it, you can't yeah. really control your swing when yeah. you're first learning. Hey. They're giving him every serve. Uh huh. Oh, no, they get a serve now. So oh, I, I think it's after uh, five. Five, yeah. Same as tennis or yeah. volleyball for that matter. No, volleyball's threes, I think. Hey, they got a point. It's getting real. And that's another thing that's weird about this is like, He's the just like well, like the harder you hit it, it's it, like it catches the wind. Yeah. And it goes slower. Are you okay? Badminton injury. Badminton. <laughs> oh, I Who, says, on Who says badminton is not rough? Look at that, guys. <laughs> Sports. Oh, that's from diving at the ground. They've got awesome so personalities. Lot, yes, they do. About, uh, you know, the backhand and how to place it. But in the second match, we lost by more. <laughs> Badminton, not for me. 
Maybe you should put a bunch of water here. Is it Pac de Gras? Not for me. Yeah, I can hit it. I can hit it pretty good, but I just hit it right to the middle. The skill is to hit it at the corner, and then the other corner, and then the other corner, and then short, and it's over. I just hit it right back to the middle. So cute. Anyway, there you have it. That's what it is right there. He's <laughs> about to play some football. Yeah. Feet are about to catch on fire. But yeah. This one here, I'm not even competitive. These boys are amazingly good. <laughs> Amazing, these are just some guys in a. It's like a flashback. I think you need to be flexible, Steve. You like, gotta be flexible, and it's like. I saw one like of the guy doing. Full splits. Like, yeah. Yeah, they can split. do full splits for sure. Your leg is up here all the time. It's like acrobatics. It's like gymnastics. And amazing. These are just some guys, like in a village. To me, looks like professionals, right? Yeah. Almost yeah. No joke. From what I've seen on TV of this sport, <laughs> just amazing. You need to do more stretches on your on your legs. Oh. See, it's all you gotta do is stretch. Can't even touch my toes. <laughs> and then you're I'm a pro. Become an Olympic <laughs> gymnast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So. Uh, maybe I'll wait around and try to play another game. I'd like to get a ball over here in the grass and practice a little bit. They don't let him so play again. <laughs> I mean, the spike is the coolest thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know how to do one cool spike where you actually, you jump up so high, you kick the ball downwards. All right. You Seems to be a lot I can't even, it's not even feasible. I'm five foot seven. That doesn't exist for me unless I can do a backflip. Well, most of them are short. That's what I'm saying. Unless I can do a oh. backflip, like those guys can do. Well, the, what I like, what like I was about to say is, it, I, it's not even feasible in my head to be able to make that kick. No, I'm, I'm with you. I could, I like, I can't even think about I'm myself my doing pants that. Rip or my groin to rip. Or yeah, anything to rip. I'm just thinking of kick. Like when I'm trying to think of doing it right. I'm imagining myself bending my knee with my leg going up like that, like yeah. he's doing it. These boys are actually coming up and going. Zanga. At the last uh, second, they actually and they actually kick it. Okay. I'm not doing that. I'm just putting my leg in the you air. You need a quick lesson, I think. I need a lesson. Maybe I'll ask these guys yeah. if they can uh, teach me. Here we go. You don't know what I'm referencing. No. That seemed like the shirt that you sent me. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Inside the foot. Step one. Inside the foot. Yeah. Step one here. Okay, learning. These guys, foot coordination is insane. Yep. <laughs> Am I the first white guy here to play? <laughs> Am I the first white guy? First Masale. First Masale here. First ever Masale. <laughs> In history. Ever. Does that count as a second hit, though? When it hits your stomach? I don't think so. Wow, that was awesome. I'm telling, like, these guys, like, they don't put a lot of force into it. It's just like they catch it with their foot and just lift it back up wow. softly. This has been a good game. That was this a pretty good rally. That was like 20 kicks in the rally. Yeah. I think next game I can play a little better. Wow, okay. <laughs> He's like, next game, okay, okay. done. I'm always not sure if they're pointing to me. I'm like, are you sure you want me? I'm the worst player. Do you want me? Do you want me? <laughs> Okay, second game. This is so entertaining. Like, I am so happy for yeah. him to be like. <laughs> Look, and this kid looks young. I think that's a kid. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's definitely a kid. <laughs> oh, he even went with the hand. Yeah. Probably just trying to stop it from going out. Ooh. Look at how much he's sweating. He is sweating profusely. Okay, quick intermission for prayer, which I could use. I'm about to have a heart attack, I think. <laughs> It's nothing like hockey. You wanna? <laughs> I can play hockey really well. And these guys are probably not even sweating. Yeah. Well, you gotta think of the temperature too, the humidity. Yeah. And he's into hockey. That means that he's probably from nowhere near weather like that. Wow. He might be Canadian. He's too nice. Yeah. 
So between badminton and setback tack row, I would say setback tack row is way more exhilarating and way more fun. I do like badminton though because um, that's a sport you can play when you're 60. It's not going to hurt you. This sport is for young people. I mean, let's be honest. This is for super athletes who can do backflips, like gymnast. Yeah. I wonder Facts. how old is the oldest sepak takro player? I'm sure somewhere in Malaysia there's a 50 year old guy doing flips. And that would be cool to see. This yeah. sport is popular all over Southeast Asia, but I think it was invented in Malaysia. Actually, one of the first recorded games was in Malacca. Oh, really? In yeah, Malacca. there's an wow. amazing story on Wikipedia about uh, 15th century, I think. Like 1400s. So, I knew yeah, it was an old video from, from, cool. from the videos we've seen, or an old sport. Asia. Yeah. I think it originated in From the videos we've it's a seen. Game. Yeah. In the same way that ice hockey is a Canadian game, we invented it, and that's what I played when I was four years old. He's Canadian. Wow. Boys are playing this when they're four years old. That's why they're ten years old doing backflips. Yeah. So two. Kind of amazing. Most popular sports in Malaysia: uh, sepak takraw and badminton. You covered it all. I covered and it all. also football. The oh, we have most a football video. Football. One. There you yeah. have it. The trifecta. In terms of what's more fun, sepak takraw is exhilarating. Tons of fun. For about 20 minutes until I can't breathe. It is also <laughs> super fun to watch. Yes. It's oh, it's amazing super, to watch. It's super entertaining to it's watch. It's amazing to watch. <laughs> yeah. And people are doing backflips and and, and the other guy's blocking with his foot. It's like it's cool volleyball. Sepak takro is like volleyball mixed with football, mixed with acrobats, mixed, yeah. with, mixed with yoga. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, exactly it's all, right. It's all, wow, look I at say, your sweat. I say we get sepak takro in the Olympics. That's what we need. I agree. Yeah, that down. would be it. I'd be down to watch. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be on Team Canada. I could, I could probably <laughs> but I want to see like three on three, not like five on five. <laughs> right. Okay, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Time for me to go have a shower. Who's this? There you go. We can end on that, guys. <laughs> Ah. I don't even think it's like on a leash or anything. It's no, just it's chilling just, with its owner. That's awesome. Yeah. That I was really cool. Guys. Yeah. Jet lag warriors. Definitely. If I think you're they not even commented on our last video, I can't remember. Uh, but if you guys are not already subscribed to them, do so. Subscribe they stay, to them. They are entertained. This is only the second video I've seen of theirs. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm like, I watch every video. I've seen a few of their videos, especially they they've got some food videos that that I've watched really? that, that I enjoy. Yeah. We need to get into that, man. That's the downfall about dieting is you can't be as like go get food to like. To be fair, before we uh, started our diets, we hadn't done a food video in a long yeah, time. Yeah, so that's no excuse, really. Yeah. More than anything. And we haven't done a Malaysian food video in ages. In forever. It's a long drive to go pick that up too. Yeah, it is. So, in a complete opposite direction from where we drive to work or anything. So yeah. It's not like it's yeah. a, I'll just stop by on the way over there. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go subscribe to them. Uh, but if you enjoy watching it with us, Through please us. hit the <laughs> like button. Please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, so you can watch our future videos. And of course, if you want to support us directly, hit the join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. My name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.